Jessie is mm. with us now. We were just saying, Simon was just asking you, do you hate watching yourself? Do you, do you find it a bit odd? It, it's slightly uncomfortable, but um, yeah, they always make you look all right. So um, yeah, it's, it's all right. nicer than looking in the mirror this morning, I tell you. So. There'll be certain people who are listening just to that track thinking, Shade, but this is the problem with you. People try and categorise you and, and find it rather difficult. How, what were your influences? A bit of everything. So, kind of like you were saying, um, Simon, it's um, I love hip hop, I love R and B, I love soul, I love pop music. So I've just tried to kind of combine all of them into the album. Who do you think, or when you were growing up? I'm, I'm presuming you've been singing from Nay High. Yeah, and, and and hollering around the house. So who were you listening hollering to? Is hollering. Okay, well that's what I did when I was a little girl. <laughs> I imagine you didn't. But when you were growing up, who were you listening to? Who were you trying to impersonate? Who who did you think that's how I want to sound like? Um, I remember I always wanted to sing Maria McKee on Stars in Their Eyes. If I did it, you know that Show Me Heaven song. I think it was from Top Gun. It was. Um, but I loved Lauren Hill, I loved Destiny's Child, I used to listen to lots of Billie Holiday when I was in my teens because I used to always love singing jazz standards, so kind of Ella Fitzgerald, Gershwin, um, but lots of R&B really. There's one thing loving music and wanting to do it, quite another to get to where you've got. When did that change? There was a moment, you, you mate Jack. Yeah, <laughs> my friend Jack Pignate, we went to school together and um, he asked me to take the day off work to sing for a Radio 1 Maid of Vale session. And so I had to put my holiday off. And as a backing singer? As a backing singer, yeah. just doing some kind of char chanty stuff. Um, and so, yeah, I went and I, it was just the funnest day being made of L and singing. And I, I just thought, I, I want to be a backing singer now and I want to maybe try and be a session singer. And then I just, slowly but surely I met the right people and, 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 and they gave me the chance to do my own stuff. So I feel like I've been incredibly lucky. Tell us about school, because um, you went to a school actually not far from where I grew up, Alain's in yeah. South London. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was a school that really encourages children to kind of live their dreams and move forward. How important is it? Because we, say, we say hear so often now that schools are losing out on funding for music, sports, whatever. How important was it for you to be part of that environment? Alain's was incredible because they let me, I was singing, I had a singing teacher there, I had a classical singing teacher there. and and they had brilliant school productions which were it wasn't kind of jazz hands it was quite you know highbrow I don't know mm -hmm. um, but th yeah the arts department was brilliant but it was also a very academic school so we were working hard and we just kind of got a good work ethic I think by work being there and working hard but the music side it was it was magical for me to be able to do that at it's not, school. It's not easy what you do now you still are working aren't you hard yeah. <laughs> it doesn't feel like work it's pretty it's all right <laughs> you have opened up yourself to the world of critics who are out there mm. they use all sorts of ways to criticize you too you, you found your mum quite helpful in dealing with all this helpful uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no she's just you know i guess like any mother would want to look out for their child and my mum knows how to use the internet quite well so yeah, yeah, she's... She, she gives as good as she gets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in terms of you've, collaboration and solo work, which do you actually prefer? I love it both. I mean, I came from singing on dance records with um, Subtract and um, a dubstep guy called Joker, and I loved that because that was my introduction. I used to go and hear myself being played in clubs, and it was so fun hearing a DJ mm. drop your song. So I love that, and I never want to lose that. And I, so I hopefully I can combine both. I mean, I'm really enjoying the solo stuff at the moment, but I never want to not do either. Listening to the album, I mean, it is quite an eclectic sound. Mm. Uh, it, it differs. Every tune you listen to dif yeah. is, is different. But is there any pressure from a record company to be defined in a certain genre? I haven't found it. I mean, Island and PMR, my record... Um, companies they they've been so supportive they let me get on with it I worked it out I freaked out at the beginning didn't know what I was doing they were like cool just do what you like and and they just let me do what I wanted which I really appreciate them See, for and that's because... quite unusual to hear from an artist isn't it so often you hear from artists who say oh no I felt stifled or mm. or whatever so I've had the best experience what's next I've got a UK tour coming up in my first headline tour Ooh, um, is it, is it yeah. nervous I'm excited. It's going to be great. I've never done that before. I've, you know, been backing singer for Jack mm. on tours, but this is my own. I'm going to have to put on a show and like a do. And um, so is that's that very November. different. I mean, you, that's, you, yeah, it is. It's very different working out what to say in between songs now because you didn't have to do it before. So I'm still working on that. But that's what's coming up, and the album's out, and just doing some more festivals and. Good luck. Thank good you. Good luck. We're Congratulations. Going to hear from you later, as aren't well. we? So yeah. looking forward to that. But I'm really looking forward to it. Actually, we've had a little 
Little We've already before. Read. It's good. It's <laughs> really good. <laughs> we'll see and hear you later. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Jessie's album, Devotion, is out now as is her single, Wildest Moments. That's what she's going to be performing at the end of the programme. Now, let's get a look at the